Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Dalma Scrapbook Sage. I have a fun journal I'm going to share with you. Um, I had a friend request a journal. I love making eclectic journals and um, with unique things in it. So um, this is made from a, for a high school friend of mine. Um, and she is um, lots of fun, playful heart, kind, gregarious, all the good things. And she loves flowers and baseball and cooking and baking and Disney. She's just very eclectic in all the things that she loves. And she loves all the purples and moths. So um, with that amount of information, I was able to make a really fun journal for her. So I had this fun, funky um, wall um, upholstery fabric. And I guess I will just... Um, be tidying things up. We all know how it is with junk journals, right? Things, um, they're made out of repurposed items. And so as a result of that, there can be some frill, um, pieces here and there and little pieces of thread from all the sewing. So I may tidy things up as I go along here. Um, kill two birds with one stone. But anyways, we, um, if you like flip throughs and, um, you like to see fun, eclectic journals go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and we'll go from there so my friend um she is um she ordered this for me i went ahead and made a tassel i don't do tassels too often but i thought this um would work really well with the colors that um were in the bouquet i added a little um, flower here and a star because she's an all-star in my book and um so she also is just really funny so i went ahead and i um, just collected ephemera from my stash she likes um she said she loved lime green so i just have that in there and she can write on the back of that um and she loves comedy and different things so i found I have this um, book of baseball playing cards of the Three Stooges, and here's some more of them. I'm going to let her place them or keep them however she wants to put them in her book. So I just had those there, and this is just a little um, flower. It's yellow. I just thought it was cute, and it went well with um, the first page. So... Um, since we're from school and I believe she's, um, has worked in the education system, I wanted to, um, go ahead and leave that there. She loves purple flowers. Uh, she loves all different types of flowers. So, but purple flowers were sort of the inspiration for me. And I just played off of that with everything else. She loves poppies as well. So I was able to, um, find that these digital kit, this digital kit and this digital kits, both of these are from Lindsay Zanor. I tend to use a lot of Lindsay Zanor's digital kits. So that she loves ladybugs as well. That's from Lindsay Zanor. This was from Creative Fabrica. I just looked up a baseball digital and was able to get that in there. I had an old 60s um, yearbook. So I thought that'd be fun to put in there. And I had... <laughs> I have these, uh, this book with these cute images, so I put her in there with a book guest check there. I thought that was cute. She loves D Disney, so I gave her some Disney. She enjoys um, having cocktails and going out with some friends and family. She loves coffee. So hummingbirds, I was able to get a hummingbird in there for her. She loves tulips. This is actually a picture from, I went to the tulip um, fields in um, near Albany or um, near Salem. And that was a pit, one of my own pictures. This is from Lindsay Zanor. We all love ledger paper. This is Louise Hensel's. Um, and I'm not quite sure where this came from. Just have some fun um, ephemera in there for her. Some more poppies, some funky things, some more places to write, some coffee, more fun purple things.
So it was just really fun pulling together thing, um, different items. She loves to cook, so I got a couple recipes in there. And these are just some of the back pages. She is definitely one of those person who is um, bold, bright, and is proud of who she is. And um, I always respected her from, for that in high school. And I've left a lot of writing space for her. Um, I did, there's more embellishments in here, but they're either tagged or pinned so that she can move them around. It seemed like she was somebody who's going to have fun playing in the journal. So um, I made sure she could um, put things in, take things out. Here's a little nod to Disney. She loves warm, cozy things. Another Disney nod and I was making a cover I made another cover and um I gave her a choice between two covers and this was um I went ahead and I had some more scrap so she's getting a little bit of both of them because she really liked both of the, both of them there here's her tulips and some of the sweet flowers that she likes with Bambi some more tulips and tigger tulips and tigger cute little pork pine She's always somebody who gives you good vibes. So I'm, I've had a lot of fun just making this, remembering who she is and her sweetheart. Um, drink good coffee, read good books. This is a picture that I took from Multnomah Falls. It has that sort of lime green in there, another tulip, some just funny joke things. Um, just showing her, gosh, this always happens to the best of us, right? Um, we put in tags and stuff and they end up getting glued. So, um, again, the benefits of a junk journal is we can fix things as we go along. And I already had that torn grungy look. So I'm just going to put a little bit more glue underneath here. This might be a better way to do it. keep this a little bit higher so it can come in and out and she loves the cinema so that was fun to get a little ticket in there and just giving her some more tech spots that she can put her own photos and everything in some more Mickey and Minnie and then here's some of the baseball theme and that was a lot of fun to do as well for her. And this is a cute little book with a little worm that had the baseball hat giving a pretty purple flower to the birdie. I thought that was sweet. Some more um, recipes. She likes sunflowers. And I thought that was a fun way to make a little tuck spot. And then some just more really pretty from flowers and beach, um, beach areas. And these are just the back sides of some of those pages that I did. Another fun tech spot with a little puppy. Um, some more fun pages there. She likes the beach, so I put a little seashell there. And she loves dragonflies. And here's just some more pink and lime ephemera that she could play with. And that is her journal. It came together so well. I had so much fun putting it together. So I hope Becky enjoys it. And um, I know she will. She's, she's excited for it. So um, you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Hit the like and subscribe and I will be getting some more flip throughs out soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.